Get ready with me to go on a date. We played it. How you like that? I'm using the NAS primer, the soft matte primer from NAS. And I'm putting on this weak cap. It's flat enough. My earrings are from the AfriCraft. I'm going to tap them on the screen. You can get beautiful accessories like this if you're in Nigeria. Or if you're in the US, you can get this from my brand, the Afro Gems brand. We are in partnership with the AfriCraft. So you can get beautiful accessories like this. I'm going to go in with my eye pencil. I've already used a brow gel for this. I can't remember the name of the gel to freeze my brows and I'm just going to fill them in. So I'm just going to talk about how the Lulu is not the Solulu. So easy to fill in because I just glide over the hairs. Again, please, oh, I'm not a professional yet in makeup, oh, so there may be some things that I'm doing anyhow. Just close your eyes when you get to that part and just imagine that I'm doing the correct things. Sometimes my eyebrows are just too long in length, so I'm just going to cut this off right here and then just have something like an arc. I'm still trying to think whether to get my eyebrows microbladed and shaded. I really don't know yet. I'm still trying to make the decision. Just like I also like to get my nose pierced, but I'm still trying to decide like is it worth it because I usually have just itchy nose. Like if I touch my nose, if somebody touches it most especially like I start wanting to sneeze and all that. So is it does is it really worth it to have piercings because you have to wait for them to get healed and all of that what if mine doesn't heal because i always have running nose especially in the morning i'm always sneezing i'm using the abh anastasia beverly hills bro pencil dima recommended this when i was just starting to learn makeup and to get my tools so i followed through and went to get this at sephora this is also an abh pencil just to line my brows correctly i say that the lulu is not the sululu because some people do not understand what the lulu being the sululu is so they just take it literally that oh you can just make believe and everything will happen like that i believe it will happen and therefore it will happen while that is right because of this certain group of people you can't really just tell them that that is right now i need to take off some hair here while my primer still has some time to sit into my face properly. I like this brow better than the other one. Even the lining looks better. So what I'm saying is that many people are not ready to do what needs to be done for the Lulu to be the Solulu. They just believe that, oh, if I just keep believing, it's going to happen. By the way, I'm trying to do the no makeup makeup look. I don't know how that will work because I'm really pressed for time. I hear you should let this sit for a bit. I usually don't, but I see maybe I should just give it like one minute or two. I'll go damping my beauty blender a bit because that helps you to have better coverage. I think you know all these terminologies in these things but we are getting used to it anyway <laughs> while i'm waiting for that i'll just go in with my eyeliner and mascara i like to have just the dark looks most times i don't do eyeshadow because uh, no, I just don't do it. I just do the eyeliner and that works for me. People just want to believe their way into things. And while I'm a Christian, and so I understand how important belief is. But in this context, people are taking laziness as belief. They don't want to do the work. They just want to have the gains, so to say. They want to have the gains. They don't want to do the work. Even the Bible that I read that tells me that faith is very important also tells me that work is just as important. 
is an equation when there is an equal to sign this side has to be equal to the other side that's how it becomes an equation without that equality sign there are just two expressions so until this side becomes equal to this side we don't have an equation so you are not equal to the solulu unless you do the work that has the delulu involved that's my ride already on the way so we have to hurry this up let me do my mascara quickly I know people do makeup for like two hours and all and I know I've been there first day I was trying to do my makeup to church so I could use Sundays to learn because usually I don't do makeup to work because I sweat a lot and all I have a full YouTube video on how I try to do makeup to work it went well but mm, I still prefer my Sunday Sunday makeup my right says 12 minutes so let's see if we can do this in 10 let's start blending this out does anyone else hate this thing that we do with our mouth in order to blend like why why do we do it something entered my eyes uh, can I wipe it away I can see in Yoruba land, the world is enough for the wise. So I don't have to talk too much about how it can't just be dululu in through everything. Like, what are you doing so that the dululu is balanced? It's a balance that brings about the solulu. That's understandable enough. The only problem with doing fast makeup is sometimes you tend not to be able to blend perfectly in that little time that you have. I don't know. Uh, we'll get this done. Let's hope there's traffic. <laughs> Who doesn't like a little traffic when you're running late? I know I do. So what do you think about the Lulu being the Sululu? I think it has really just become a menace in this day and age that many people do not want to work but they want to reap benefits of work. It can't happen that way. It does happen that way but how genuine is it? Concealer I used. I used NAS. The mouse recommended that so I just bought the whole thing. And then for my Lucent powder for setting this I'm using the Laura Mercier. I feel like this is the most common that many people use. I may be wrong. I don't know but in many of the videos I watch that some people use. So I'm just going to set this by taking it up and since it's a no makeup makeup look I may not let this bake too much. I need to wash my sponges and my brush because it's obvious that they need to be washed. Even though we are not letting this sit too long, I'll still let it sit a little bit because I want to do my contour. See me using the terminologies like I know what I'm doing. For my contour, this is just something I picked up in Walmart because I spent like one hour that day looking for contour. Abby is me that does not know what it is. Like I was looking, looking. All I kept seeing were like dark concealers that they say can be used as contour. But I don't want, I want like real contour. This is the side I always use. But today, I want to try and see if this can work as a highlight for me. I'm going to put this here. My jawline my cheekbone somewhere here and then up here a little bit i'm going to be using this to do it in i break out a lot so at this point i'm just used to it so i don't even try to think about it like the only thing i like about this dark contour stick is how it makes you look like you have a very dark which tone so that's good like i said i'm not a professional so i'm going to be seeing a lot of rubbish or just how do they say it on twitter then go try wine you but no panic because at this point i'm feeling wined by myself already i've done better job on this set it with a bronzer for this bronzer i have this profusion cosmetics it has six shades let me use this um, Santorini one i like it okay so that the contour is not as dark let's put some here and just leave it to set actually i'm not going to leave it to set I've done better makeup, I won't lie. So I'm just going to flick off the rest. I've decided I'm contouring my nose, so we're going to do that. I'm just flick off this. I didn't put any concealer down here anyway. 
this contour is looking good i don't see any more here so i'm just going to add a little bit more already set the thing on the powder with bronzer but it's okay contour is still not as contoured as i want it to be but at this point i'm really just already over everything i'm gonna leave the professionalism for the professional people and just rely on the beauty that god has given me i'm using this brush Adrain Vita, whatever, whatever. I found this at Burlington for a very cheap. If you need affordable things, you can always check Burlington if you are in the US. We always have affordable things. I think I'm done with the nose. And then I just want to add some blush. I think I need to set this place some more. Not bad, actually. Of course, lighting has changed. Lighting will always change while I'm trying to use it for a long time. It's getting like evening. But since we're in summer, it's good still because it won't get dark until about maybe 8, 9. Next thing I'll go in with is my blush. Blush always changes the game for me. I have this pink one, but because I'm dark, I bought this orange like one from sephora but i have this sample that came in this nurse sample that came in with an order that i had so what i do these days is just to combine i put a little bit of this it's very pigmented so i don't put too much i put just like this this one is liquid okay obviously and this one is powder form so i just put the liquid first and then i take this like this dust off the excess and I just take it up with the powder okay so you can see this one is kind of more like an orangey tint orange red so I just use that to bring the warmth to my face they are both very pigmented but the liquid is more pigmented because see just that small amount of liquid I put is already overshadowing the powder so I add more powder somebody say you can't have too much blush but I don't believe that I feel like blush can be too much so you can kind of see like an orangey reddish glow that's what I do that's what I always try to achieve I take this up just to make the face look like it's snatched make me look like i'm a model from ivory coast Cote d'Ivoire. another thing they don't tell you about makeup is how careful you need to be with the products because any small smudging what you're trying to achieve will like be gone so i don't know how to take that off i'm just going to leave it i'm just going to trust on again the beauty that god gives to make everything okay so some people put a little on their nose i'm going to do that likewise maybe i should use the pink one again it's very pigmented so i have to be very careful okay good and actually looks like a highlighter okay so here's my thing here again just add whatever product is still on this just add it here so my head area too and then here i'm practically done so what i do now is to use my what's this powder called your there's something is called in the whole makeup thing i can't remember what it is but you know just your normal brown powder fit okay press powder yeah that's the word press i like to use this more coarse brush this one makes the product too like pick up a lot but this one is more loose it doesn't pick up too much of this press powder so that's one i like to use and then just put it over everything and the light has come back 
If I had used this one, I'd be picking up so much powder. I just used this to kind of set everything, including the bl bl blush. Including the brush. Bl <laughs> blush! <laughs> What's wrong with my tongue? Including the blush, okay? Put a little on my nose. Thinking I should use mascara on my lower eyelids. Why not? I'm basically done and I still have a lot more time. So lift your eyes up and it helps you to access the eyelash under here. Some people use an eye pencil, but I need to be more sensitive to that. And lastly, of course, I'm going to go with my setting spray. It's a Laura Mercier translucent, translucent setting spray. But honestly, to say the truth, once this finishes, I'm not buying it anymore. Reasons best known to me. I'm really not buying it anymore. I'm going to look for something else. It's just not for my kind of face, the kind of face I have. So you leave this to come together, of course. While that is coming together, I'm just going to line my dips and use an eye pencil. Even though it's still daytime and I should probably just use something calm and subtle, but I'm really drawn to a red lipstick today, so let's do it. I won't do too much, just a little bit. I think one thing I really need to learn is the lining of lips to know like what color to use with what guys still have issues with that but yeah this is the look it has come together I kind of like it oh yeah I forget the experiment I want to do using this as a highlighter hmm I feel it won't be good but oh no so I'll just do it and then here too and where else maybe here this blush already works well here so i don't need to put so much so that's just what i'm doing i don't see much of a difference do you should i add more okay let's add more everything is already matte because of the dried up setting spray that's the end of the makeup basically Remember, even though the Lulu can be the Solulu, but you still have to work so that the Lulu can be the Solulu. Don't just believe the Lulu is the Solulu and you don't do anything. Work and then believe that the Lulu is the Solulu. And I'll see you in my next one.